Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today I am still trying to catch up with all of the boxes that I missed and today we are going to see the Allure box, which I get from Allure, but I also get from Amazon because sometimes I get the Amazon one sooner than I get the one from Allure. And usually I'm here to know which is which. But unfortunately, I came home from vacay and they were just in a pile and they have the exact same information on the labeling. I thought that was very interesting. I'm sure I could track down tracking numbers, but it just wasn't that important. So we're going to open these up and see if there's any difference in the variation between the two. Let's get into it. Allure is a $15 monthly beauty box that generally has five or six full size, deluxe sample size products in it. It varies every month. There are months when we get incredible Anastasia palettes and lips, and there are months where we get odd little samples of things we've never tried before. I always find it to be worth the $15. Always? Yeah, I think always find it to be worth the $15. Some months it is worth way more than the 15. Some it's like, oh yeah, that was a nice box. Okay, let's see what this month is. So as we open it, we have our paperwork on top and this is just the first box. That is the paperwork. It will tell us what we have in here. But as I say each month, it is written from the editors who have tried the products. So obviously they love the products or they would not have gotten to have what they said put in this little book. We take it with a grain of salt. Let's open the first one and we'll just go through this and then we'll open the next one and see if it is the same. So this is what the first one looks like when we open it up and I'm going to put my glasses on and we will read about these. All right, reaching right in on top, I have something from Wander Beauty, which I think, I think subscription boxes might be legally bound to put something from Wander Beauty in their boxes every two or three months. <laughs> That's just a guess. Okay, of course I'm being sarcastic, but I have never seen Wander Beauty in real life. I only ever see it in beauty boxes. This one is sealed. Okay. Oh, it's very pretty. It's called After Hours and it's super shiny. Oh, it's very pretty. So I'm guessing I'm gonna go out way out on that limb and say, I think it's a highlighter. Let's see what the paperwork says. The one they are showing us actually comes in a compact, so we know right away uh, this is not a full size because it's in a little cardboard boxy. And it says, a Wonder Beauty After Hours Highlighter. See, nailed it. And this editor has said, back when I was a budding beauty editor, highlighter wasn't a thing. No, really. Take the Allure Best of Beauty Awards, a barometer of beauty culture if ever there was one. In 2002, there was no highlighter category. Okay, I'm gonna hit pause right there and say, yeah, I agree. We didn't do highlighters back in the day. I do them like I am a glowing beacon now. I love highlighters and I'm probably way too old to wear as much as I do, but I don't care. 10 years ago, one winner. Last year, six. Liquid, gloss, cream, stick, powder and palette. Wow, even I didn't realize how far they had come. Highlighter has become a makeup basic. My glow making arsenal has grown to include many options, but I always come back to powders. Me too. Anyway, she goes on and on for endless days. And then in the end she says, and I like this one. <laughs> okay, I might have, okay. And full size, this would be $30. I like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, it's very creamy put my finger in it and show you guys. That is what it looks like. I hope you can see the shine on that. It's very pretty. It's way subtle, way more subtle than I thought it was gonna be. I like that. I, which I'm sure I have no business doing, love to do it on the tip of my nose. Well, now I look like Rudolph. <laughs> I have a brush over here. Let me see if I can take it down a notch. I like it. I just like, I have such a little pug nose that I like that it kind of gives it, it pulls it out a little bit. I like it. Okay, two thumbs up. Okay, reaching in next, I can't help it. I see that we have a brush. You know, I do enjoy a brush. Let's see what I have. It is a NYX Professional Makeup Brush. Well, let's go ahead and take it out of here. 
It does not say what this one is for. It is rounded, so I'm going to say it's a powder brush. I'm trying not to touch the top because I'm gonna slide it back down in here in case I decide not to keep this it. This is a $14 to $17 value. And this editor says, I cherish my makeup tools like they are my children. And nothing compares to the blending abilities of NYX's Pro Powder Brush, Pro Contour Brush, and Pro Multi-Purpose Buffing Brush. Well, just for the record, this is the third one, and this looks like it is the Multi-Purpose Buffing Brush. They're synthetic bristles, as soft as a puppy's ears. I didn't feel it, just in case I wanted to give it to you guys. Create a seamless finish that my fingers just can't. The Pro Contour Brush Center, so yes, they are in order, so this is the buffing brush, is the most versatile of the bunch. Oh, way to rub in what you didn't give me. That's a nice brush, I like that. Reaching in next, I have the Belief Pete Miracle Revital Eye Cream. Improves skin elasticity. It's a tiny little sample, but you know, sometimes the eye samples last way longer than you think they're going to, just because it takes so little. Let's see what this says. The full size of this would be $58. Wow. This eye cream is made with peat extract, thought to be made from the buildup of organic material over centuries and potentially useful in the treatment of rosacea. Interesting. But this is more than just a jar of ancient dirt. Okay, good. It also contains velvety shea butter and no less than three, oh, I don't know what that says, Napier the Herbalist formulas. Napier's the Herbalist? It's all capitalized like it's a person. Napier the Herbalist. Designed by the family of Duncan Napier, a Victorian herbalist. See, just keep reading, Catherine. You'll get there. With an enduring legacy. I suspect it is the herbal formulas that make this superlatively hydrating eye cream work. All right. Let me look real quick and see if this is something I can try. And two things. This has licorice root extract high up in it, so I can't use it. So I'm going to set it aside. Probably for the Insta giveaway that I am now putting together that I have referenced in a couple of videos. I'm not going to do it until this one's over. But it has licorice root extract in it and it is $5.80 worth. Two things I learned when I looked it up. And if you haven't gone over yet and entered the giveaway, I'll put the card up here so you can go over and check that out if you'd like. Okay, next I have the Bare Minerals Skin Sorials Vital Power Infusion. I don't know what that means. That is what this packaging looks like. Let's open this and see what we've got in here. This is what that packaging looks like. Well, let's read about it. This says, Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion Serum. My face has always been pretty good at enduring winter, but this year it was as if my skin thought the world was ending. Sallow yellow invaded pink undertones. The bounce in my cheeks gave way to harsh redness. Makeup lost its ability to stick. I was itchy, tight, and puffy. Using this watery serum between the toning and moisturizing steps of my twice daily routine provided to be the extra kick of hydration, proved, proved to be the extra kick of hydration and anti-inflammation I needed. And full size is $58. Okay, there does not seem to be anything in this I can't use, so let's give it a look-see. Put a little bit, oh, a lot comes out. See, running down my hand, so it's like a true serum. Let's see if it, in back of my hand, I just washed them before I came up here, so it is super dry. So let's see what it does for my hands. It smells very nice, kind of citrusy. You know, I know you guys watch this channel and I love you for doing that. And I know sometimes you think, she smells what now? I smell somewhere between a cross between citrus. And if you're old enough to know what these words mean, old perm solution. You know when you used to walk into a salon and they were perming somebody's hair, that smell? You know that smell? I'm not gonna say it doesn't smell a little bit like that. Okie dokie. Reaching in next, I have, interesting, Olay Regenerist 
Retinol 24 Night Moisturizer, and it says there's a $3 coupon inside. That is an interesting thing for, I guess, technically, Allure does drugstore things too, so I guess fair enough, but, oh, this is one of those boxes. Brace yourself if you're those people like I am those people. Box. Product. It just sits on a little. <laughs> this is the, it's by Procter & Gamble, Olay Retinol 24. That's all it says on here. Let's see what the paperwork says. I, as a rule, don't use retinols. Oh, I can't even get it back in this huge box. I, as a rule, there we go. Don't use retinols, so I will put this in a giveaway. So they are not even telling us about it. So it just must be a bonus item in here on the back. They've just given us an ad of it, but it doesn't say any of the words. But this says it is one Regenerous Retinol 24 mini jar and a $3 coupon towards your next purchase. Use in the evening massage cream evenly over face and neck. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pop this in a giveaway. And the last time I added something back there, I added it to that one. So we'll go ahead and add that this to this one. Let's poke it over here on the edge. Reaching in next, I have a mask. Super Beauté or Beauty mask, Honey Jarrett, blended with Jarrett tea, and it's in rose. It's very pretty. That is what it looks like. This looks like lips, so I'm thinking it might be a lip mask. Selected premium tea and rose extract contains antioxidant, brightening, and calming effect, which allows the skin to stay moisturized and rejuvenated. And note, this is a whole face sheet mask. And I can see right smack in the middle of it, licorice root. You know what? We'll put this in that Insta giveaway that I keep talking about. The paperwork says that it is a $3 sheet mask. The first thing I notice about Honey Jarrett's Super Beauty Sheet Mask is the appealing pink lemonade shade. Next, the scent. Strong, but not offensively so. It reminds me of a Brooklyn Botanic Garden. Infused with rose and tea extracts, the formula's texture is lightweight and slick, but not wet, making it easy to forget it's even on. Well, there you go. And last but not least in Allure Box 1 is a lippy. I like the way it looks. It is from Appeal. And this is what it looks like. Looks like it's sealed up. Yeah, good and sealed. So let's get this baby open. All right, and it just slides out of here. Oh, it's a beautiful color. It's a great color for me, I think. Look how pretty that is. Let's just go ahead and put this on here. Oh, yeah. She's a nice, cool pink. I like that a lot. Yay! That is very pretty, and I love the way the packaging looks on it. That is so pretty. And the paperwork says, Appeal Ultra Cream Lipstick in Muse. The lipstick is more of a rose than a nude. What? Oh, okay, I'm editing. What the heck? does nude mean anyway? But it's not a rose in the wild. It's an aspirational rose, a brownish rose that looks regal, a glossy color that swipes on easily and blends, lending a tint of color without opacity. Yada, yada, yada. $21. I'm going to put it on my lips. I have just a little bit of lipstick on, so. Hmm. It feels nice and it's definitely giving me color. Oh, I like that a lot. That is absolutely a color I would choose for me. I like that a lot. Yay! Okay, let's quickly open this second box. We'll just pop this baby right on open and see if we got the exact same things or if we got something different. I see different. Okay, let's quickly look at what's different in here. All right, right off the top, I see that we have another Retinol 24 Night Moisturizer. So. This one gets one too. I have another brush, I, is it the same brush? Nope, I think this one's different. Yep, this one is, I think the powder brush is a thicker, wider one. This one was the rounder buffing blush, brush. So what did they call the thicker one? Powder brush. They said the bigger one was the powder brush. So now we have a powder and a buffing. We have the same, I would imagine, highlighter. I have another one of the Muse lipsticks. So everything else is the same. I have another one of the Bare Minerals. 
and we have another one of the face masks. What I have other that is different is this Belief Aqua Balm Sleeping Mask. Lock in and seal explosive hydration overnight. Okay, that is what that looks like. It looks like it's probably maybe a one-time use, maybe a two-time use. Let's see what the paperwork says about this. Everything else is pretty much the same. There's not really paperwork. It is interesting that I did get the other variation. Um, Belief Aqua Balm Sleeping Mask. The mask is an extension of Belief's popular Aqua Balm line and shares a start ingredient with the Anchor product, the True Cream Ladies Mantle, an antioxidant rich herb popular for calming redness. Used since medieval times by European women, according to the description, this formula also includes Scottish Heather, also known as Kaluna, another proven skin soother. It goes on and on about doing away with redness, so that's very interesting. I wonder if I can wear it. I have looked it over and it would appear I can indeed give this a try, so that's kind of exciting. All right, so that is both of my Allure boxes. So we had some repeats. The face masks were a repeat. I got two of the Bare Minerals thingies. I got two of the lipsticks in the exact same colors. But I got different Belief products, a peat and a night cream. One I can wear, one I cannot. I got two of the Wander highlighters and we got different brushes. And we got two of the retinol, so everybody gets an Olay retinol to try in the giveaway. For an extra entry, let me know below. This makes me think of it. This is the Belief Night Sleeping Mask, which, you know, we were talking earlier about highlighters are a new thing. You know what? Sleeping things are a new thing too. The most we ever had was like night moisturizer. But now they have all of these sleeping moisturizers. They have sleeping matte lip things. They have sleeping things for your hair. Let me know, do you use any of the sleeping products below? And we'll use that for our extra entry. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out, and I'll see you really soon. Bye, guys.